welcome 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 back to another video with that's awkward a s m r my name why did i do that my name is tatiana and today i'm going to be reviewing the little night i gotta hold it like this like a crab are these backwards wait what great start and today i'm reviewing little nightmares the series but before i even get into any of that i just want to say thank you so much for your support on the last asmr review video i had a really good time putting that video together it was a lot of work but it was worth the wait you all seem to very much enjoy that video so thank you very much i'm happy you enjoyed it and found it relaxing and awkward because I was really awkward in that video. I It's hard when I'm like actually here. Like I'm always here, but when like you see this, the hand movements are ridiculous. But thank you so much for supporting it. It did really good on the channel. And I hope this one does just as well. Because I actually really like doing these just kind of off rip reviews. Um, just me kind of sitting and chatting with you about a game that I really liked and I really enjoyed. And I think you should also check out and i hope to keep doing these um so yeah as long as you like them if you don't like them dislike all right so just a little disclaimer before i even get into it um this game is pretty dark there is a reason i didn't play it on my asmr gaming channel one because i was too scared and i was uh, screaming like a little baby and two because um it's content matter is very dark just matter of fact it's pretty dark it's a horror game some of you might be like oh it's not that bad but for you know my content is genuine gener generally family friendly i try to make it you know as pg as possible for asmr because everyone deserves a little bit of asmr but that means uh that games like little nightmares kind of get left out and i know a lot of you really wanted me to play little nightmares and i wanted to play it on the channel but at the end of the day, I was like, I don't know, it's just, I don't, it doesn't fit on my channel, you know what I mean? So, I did play it on Twitch, you can hear me scream like a little child, um, I have a YouTube VOD channel now, so, uh, VODs are just the whole streams, the whole streams are uploaded onto YouTube after a couple days, so feel free to check them out, all of the Little Nightmares content is on there, it's unedited, it's the full stream, but you get to watch me play the entire game um, Little Nightmares 1's on there, the DLC is on there for Little Nightmares 1, and Little Nightmares 2. It's like a five-hour stream. I played the whole thing in one shot because I didn't want to stop playing because it was so fun. So feel free to check that out. Link is in the description, as always. Um, but I just want to let you know, that's why I didn't play Little Nightmares on this channel. So let's talk about Little Nightmares 1. We're going to talk about the first game first because we're just going to go in order. I'm going to kind of group the DLC for Little Nightmares. I think it's called The Secrets of the Maw. Um, I'm going to link them kind of together because I feel like they kind of just go together. Um, and then we'll get into Little Nightmares 2. In Little Nightmares 1, you play as a little girl named Six who wears a yellow raincoat. She wakes up at the bottom of a place called the Maw, which is kind of like a submarine thing. Um, it's a huge place and she kind of has to work her way up to the surface and figure out like where she is and what's going on. Little Nightmares is a game that plays on childhood fear, so all of the monsters that you come across are probably going to play on a childhood fear that you have. For me, there's this long-armed long character. He's not necessarily scary, but I, like, am always so afraid of him. Like, there's just something in me that sparks. It's like, no. No. I think he just has this puppetry feeling, and, like, I was a little afraid of puppets. Like, you know, like, the dark crystal? Like, that stuff freaked me out, and that stuff still freaks me out. Those puppets are nasty. They are nasty, but there's a lot of different fears from sounds they make to, you know, you're being chased by them and you're a child, you're playing as a helpless child. Like, you can't really um, fight back. You kind of just run and run and run as the story plays along. Um, so it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting indeed, these monsters. Um, so that was, that was something actually that attracted me to this game was the fact um, that they made this game based on the fact that these monsters harp on childhood fears my sister actually is the one who was watching youtube videos and she's like hey you might like this game um 
it plays on childhood fears and she showed me a clip of this character with the long arms and I was like that's really freaking me out I'm gonna go get this game and so I went and got it <laughs> I don't know where the correlation between that scares me and I need to play it happened but it happened and I'm happy it did because Little Nightmares the series is one of my most favorite games of all time I have a couple games on my list and it's one of them the whole series let's get down to parts of the game that I really enjoyed the first thing I want to talk about are the visuals the visual art style for this game is gorgeous it has this real um like puppetry claymation like stop motion feeling to its uh animation i think there's supposed to be a show coming out like a little nightmare show made by the russo brothers who made all of the avengers like the last couple avengers movies whether you liked the movies or not i mean these guys know how to make like crazy good content and they're apparently supposed to be directing this this um show that's supposed to be coming out i think it's been delayed there's been no they announced it and then there was like no news about it i don't know if it's coming out anytime soon but they're supposed to be helping to make it and i'm like well i'm down it's also supposed to be stop motion type of puppetry animation and i'm like i'm also down so if you like that uh kind of style or art style this game is gonna be for you it looks really cool like it just looks like nothing i've ever seen before the levels are so dynamic they're always really dark but there's so many details in um, the backgrounds and all of the things in each room like you could spend hours just looking at all the things in the room and they've made these rooms also very meticulously um, with level design which I, we kind of like have segued let's talk about level design um, the level design is so good in this game the way that you work through these levels is incredible you're never stuck too long um, the way like some levels you're always um, going sideways usually whether you're going like left or right um, sometimes you have to go up to get through puzzles but it's usually up and then go um, like left or go right um, usually right is the way that you usually go um, and you have to use a lot of things in all of the rooms like every room you go in, you really look around because there's so many objects in rooms that you could use to escape um, things that you may notice that you didn't notice things that apply to the story of the game like there's a lot of lore with this game um so looking around the rooms is like just take a minute and take it all in because not only is it designed gloriously but it helps you with all the puzzles that you're going through or helps you understand parts of the story or things you might notice helps with the story as you move forward so um really really great design it's so nice to look at even though it's like this very dark story this dark world with dark things going on um it's beautiful it's so beautiful and i just love the way little nightmares looks it just looks so good and in the new game it looks even better and newer and it just it looks great it looks great let's talk more about the puzzles so the puzzles were never so hard that i couldn't get through a level um, sometimes I'd get stumped and it would take me a while to get through it um, but they were also never so easy where I was like blowing through rooms too quickly I feel like the levels are very or the uh, puzzles are very balanced sometimes you need keys to get into certain doors and you have to look around the room or possibly go into a different room to find the key for a lock to a door or to a certain place um, there's a lot of uh, clever ways to go through these puzzles it's not like you can do multiple ways to get through a puzzle um, it is a linear way like there's only one way to get through this door one way to get there but it's just so fun the way that you go through the the level design and the you know you'll climb up a book case to get into a vent to get into like it's really really cool and i really enjoyed it and felt like i really was exploring around this whole um like area um to find what i needed and then learning more about this place as you're searching around so i found the puzzles to be really nice a lot of variety of puzzles um, sometimes, um, especially in the DLC, you're in places where there's a lot of water. So the puzzles are kind of like some swimming puzzle where you have to be quick because there's a monster in the water, for example. Um, sometimes there's a monster in a pile of shoes and you gotta get away from them quick. Sometimes the monsters can reach really high and you gotta climb up really fast or you gotta distract them so you can climb up somewhere. Um, a lot of different kinds of puzzles like evading these monsters because they're usually always chasing you when you have to solve these puzzles and they're always like an obstacle in the way where you're like there's no way i'm like climbing this plate these plates and the monsters are right there do you know what i mean like 
literally that's a puzzle like there's it's it's so cool the way that they uh the puzzles are put in with the level design it's just seamless like you it's just like you're like oh that is how I would explore and go up and do these things so I found it to be seamless and uh and really really well done next thing I want to talk about is the music in this game because the music in this game is so eerily and dark it's so like what was I it's so eerily beautiful like it's so like I don't know how to explain it if you just look up little nightmares like the uh like the whole soundtrack for the game it's so good and it's so like dark and creepy vibes but it's so good at the same time like I love the music in this game uh, through, throughout all of them the entire series the music is top-notch and stellar and it's got that creep factor with that like whimsical feeling and it's so good so good my brother actually plays um I think it's called Six's theme on the piano and it's just so good like whenever I hear him play it I'm like goosebumps like it's just such a good song so if you enjoy video game soundtracks this one's one you should probably check out if you like some creepy-ish vibes. It's pretty good and I thoroughly enjoy it very much. Next thing I want to talk about is story. Uh, story's a little hard, I feel like, to talk about because there is so much of it and I don't want to talk about it and give it away. I want you to kind of experience it. Um, it is a game you're probably going to play through the first time and be like, what did I, like, what just happened? And then you're going to, might you might want to go like, look up some uh channel there's a lot of channels where they go into the whole lore of little nightmares because there's so many things in the rooms so many hints from bandai namco's website where they would just say things and you're like what does that mean and it kind of all you know came together while uh, uh everyone was playing the games and all there's a lot of content a lot of videos you can look up after if you have a specific question you can probably find it on youtube someone has looked into it tried to answer it um, so that was something I really liked was the lore in this game. I thought it was really, really good. And, um, and that's a part of the reason why I love it so much is because there's just so much content in the game that you don't notice the first time you play or even the second time you play, you just don't notice it. And it's really nice, like even replaying it, things that you'll notice or things you'll see in a corner and you're like, I didn't notice that and stuff like that. It's really cool. And it's like every piece of information you gather, especially from the DLC, the DLC is very important. I would say there's a place you go towards the end of the game that you should really look around at pictures on the wall. You should look around at like um, characters you encounter, things you see, things you hear, observe, like how monsters react to you, things like that. Um, it all contributes to the story. It's not, it's not like it really hands you the story. This game's not like here, this is this is what this game's about, you kind of have to observe things and, and like watch how things play out and kind of make connections yourself. And I've come up with a theory for the second one that I think is stellar. So in the DLC, same thing, stellar, you know, um, level design, stellar monsters, the monsters, um, not necessarily more scary. One of them's more, definitely you meet a new monster. Um, you get to know a bit more about some of these monsters. You get to um, see more of the Ma, you're playing as a different child at this point, so you don't play as six in the DLC, you play as a different child, um, I think they're just called, I call them the boy, but I think they're called the child, I think that's all that they're called, but I call, I call them the boy, <laughs> I don't know if that makes a difference, but, um, you just play as this kid, and you basically are just trying to get through the Ma and see their experience of how they have worked through the Ma. Um, and what's really cool is the DLC and the first game play together at the same time. So while you're playing a six going through the Ma, this kid is supposed to also be going through the Ma. So it's kind of cool how they've tied the stories together. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. If you like, if you play the first game or you see stuff from the first game, you're really going to enjoy the DLC. Um, it's really good. And I definitely think they just belong together. Just play them together. Um, if you play Little Nightmares, um, and definitely play these games before you play Little Nightmares 2. Like, do not play Little Nightmares 2 and not have played the first, like, entries into this series because you're going to regret, trust me. You're going to be really confused and there's things you're going to miss. And it's just a better experience if you've played these first two. The DLC and the first game, Little Nightmares, Chef's Kiss, beautiful. I love it. Um, really, really great. So let's jump in to Little Nightmares 2. 
the hype for this game was insane. Like, I was so hyped for this game, and I was not disappointed. This game is so incredibly good. <laughs> it's so good. Everything from the first game that you love is just piled in in the second game times a thousand because they add things um like minor things like being able to hold keys without holding them in your hand like just you know like almost like mini quality of life things but like they made a really big difference at the end of the day it's it's the same exact little nightmares formula of you're playing as this kid you're trying to escape something only this time around it's actually you're not stuck in a confined space and little nightmares one you're stuck on the maw you're escaping the maw in this one uh, little nightmares two you play as a new kid again named mono um who wears a paper bag over his head and um you kind of just wake up as mono in the forest and you kind of just go about in this world and the game the game kind of just just like the first one just drops you just drops you in the it feels like in the middle of a story and you're just kind of figuring out what's going on. Um, you end up getting to this city where you're, it's like, what is going on in the city? Like, there's there's all this crazy stuff going on. Crazy monsters. The monster design is insane. Um, they, again, definitely try to play on childhood fears again. But these monsters are, like, so scary in this one. I personally hate the mannequins. Of all the monsters in this game, the mannequins... I could barely handle playing the game. My brother, shout out to him, actually ended up helping me because I couldn't, I couldn't get through it myself. Um, so shout out to him. Uh, he ended up helping me at one part with it, but they're the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. And that's a part of the stream or the VOD, if you go and check it out, where I'm like unhinged, like just freaking out, like so scared. Um, but it was still fun, still good. <laughs> So the monster design was definitely taken up to like a hundred. They were like, they're way scarier, um, a lot different. They function very different from each other and very different from the first sets of monsters you meet from the first games. Um, I guess the DLC is not its own game, but it definitely feels like it with the amount of story building that game does. A lot of really good updates, like the world, first of all, the art style is the same, but it's like, it's even more gorgeous because this game definitely feels newer and updated and fresh and cleaner, but still keeps that little nightmares feel and the art style is the same. Again, a, this one's way darker than the first game is, um, a lot darker content, but still the story is very good. As you go through each um, level, they're kind of broken up by each monster, I find, or the monsters you encounter. Um, so you have like the woods, you have a school, you have a hospital, and then you have kind of the city and then the ending kind of level. Um, and it's really good. It's broken up very well. Like I played it in one sitting, a one full sitting of, I think the stream's five hours. Um, and I had a great time. I literally like barely felt the time go by because I was having so much fun. Um, just like experiencing the game and going through the levels and, um, you know, again, the level design in this one is, again, so good. There's so many little details, like, on the floors, on the walls, and how the room works, how the puzzle is solved. That also contributes to the story now, um, that each level is trying to tell you about this place. Each place is very different from one another, and the Ma, you know, you're kind of in this, like, ship thing it's everything's kind of the same it's very similar um until towards the ending then you know the level changes quite a bit like your surroundings change but on little nightmares 2 uh and that was in the first little nightmares and little nightmares 2 um you def each level is so different like the forest is so different from the city parts and the school and the hospital like they're so different from each other but you can feel they're all from the same world um and it's really cool there's a lot of um, lore and for Little Nightmares 2, there's actually a comic that you can read. Um, you could read before each chapter. You could read the whole thing before you even play the game. Um, they did release the whole comic just before the game was released. And so I read the whole comic and it's really it, like important to the story. I feel like to read anything they give you, any little hint or tidbit or whatever they put on the website, like they give you so much information that helps to build up the story of the game and you'll see things in the backgrounds of like these levels and you're like oh like that means you know based off this and you know you kind of put it all together it's it's just so good it's just so good i i don't even know what else i can say 
you know, everything that you loved in the first one, they just turned it up and just made it even better. I don't want to say more about the story of Little Nightmares 2 because I feel like I don't want to spoil any of it. I feel like if you experience Little Nightmares 1, you're probably going to play Little Nightmares 2. Um, you're going to have a good time. You're going to have a good time. But they are dark games. They are scary games. They are considered horror games. So if you don't enjoy those games, you're probably not going to enjoy it. Maybe watch someone play it. Like me. Like you can watch me play it on like my VOD channel. So I just tried to record the theory part of my video, but it was so chaotic and I was so overly excited that I'm going to have to make it a separate video. So if you want my theories on Little Nightmares 2, let me know down below and I can make that video because it, it's going to be... make this video too long. But I like really love the lore of Little Nightmares. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that review made sense. When I'm really excited about something, I tend to have a hard time properly like conveying it to you, like to people. So I hope I was concise and clear. I tried to break up the review in art style, gameplay, like I tr puzzles, like I tr music, like I tried. Um, might have failed though. I apologize if I failed. I give this game a 10 out of 10. I genuinely don't have an issue with this game personally. I think it's great. I think its pacing is great. Its music's great. Its story is great. The lore is great. Um, its art style is great. Level design. Everything I talked about is I think a 10 out of 10. I had no no issues with this game at all and I love playing through them again and I love them. I love the story and I'm excited to see if this TV show happens for it, if the Russo brothers bring it together, if it happens. I'm excited to just see what's next for Little Nightmares, if there will even be a Little Nightmares 3 because unfortunately Tarzir Studio said this was their last Little Nightmares game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want more review videos, please let me know down below. I would love to do more review videos on different games. You can even recommend games that you've seen me play um, or that you know of or maybe that I've played on Twitch and I haven't played on here. I could do a quick review um, of those as well for you all. Um, it's kind of cool to just sit back and talk about games I like and what I liked about the games. I'm by no means a professional, so nothing I said like, you know, nothing I said is like in cement. It's just my completely biased opinion on the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought you lots of relaxation. If you want more, let me know down below. And as always, I hope that you have sweet, sweet dreams of gaming.